New York Justice Juan Mershon has ruled former President Donald Trump will be sentenced November 26th, three weeks after the election, for his conviction for falsifying business records to cover up payments to adult film star Stormy Daniels. If, in fact, former President Trump wins the election, I think he would make an argument that it would violate the separation of powers to imprison the future chief executive or depending on when the sentence would be the current sitting president. Mershon wrote that he made the decision to avoid any appearance, however unwarranted, that the proceeding has been affected by or seeks to affect the approaching presidential election in which the defendant is a candidate. Trump, meanwhile, continues to fight a $5 million civil judgment that found him liable for sexual abuse and defamation of magazine columnist E. Jean Carroll. This was election interference. It all is. The Republican presidential nominee attended an appeal hearing in the case Friday, where his attorneys argued the verdict should be tossed out because of inadmissible evidence. Later on the campaign trail, Trump received an endorsement from the Fraternal Order of Police in the battleground state of North Carolina. As you're President, I will always back the blue as I did. I back the blue more than any other person. Vice President Kamala Harris spent the day in Pittsburgh to prep for next week's debate while making her appeal to Latino voters in a radio interview. I come from a middle class background, mm -hmm. unlike my opponent who had a rich daddy who helped him start his career. And Harris picked up another unexpected endorsement from former Republican Vice President Dick Cheney after his daughter Liz announced her support this week. Michael George, CBS News, New York.